Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of October 13th to October 19th. The Board of Selectmen on Wednesday approved of a tax increment financing agreement for Prismium that would not require the company to pay any taxes on improvements to its property for the first two years, while the company would pay 25% of full taxes on improvements in the third year, 50% in the fourth year, and 75% in the fifth and sixth years before paying full taxes. The company would still pay full property taxes on the 47 acres of land it would own during the TIF agreement. In order for the company to receive the tax relief, voters at the special town meeting on November 6th would have to approve it. Over the agreement, the town would receive an estimated $27 million in tax revenue, while about $20 million in taxes would be forgiven. When the company starts paying full taxes, the estimate is about $9 million a year. Town Administrator Marco Lucci, who is the chair of the committee that negotiated the agreement with Prismium, said the numbers are conservative. Prismium is proposing to build a submarine cable manufacturing plant for offshore wind turbines on the site of the former Brayton Point power plant. Resident Bernard Miranda was appointed by the selectmen on Wednesday night as a full voting member of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Miranda has been an alternate member of the ZBA since 2001. He has also served on the town's planning board. The ZBA hears appeals, evaluates requests for interpretations, and improves or denies dimensional and use variances related to land and structures. Miranda is replacing Joseph Finglas Jr., who resigned from the ZBA for what Selectman Chair Jameson Souza said were personal reasons. The term of the seat that Miranda is filling expires in June of 2026. The selectmen on Wednesday voted to put an article on the special town meeting warrant for November 6th that will ask voters to approve of $70,000 to fund a town planner position for about half of the fiscal year. Selectman Chair Jameson Souza said the position would help with economic development that would bring more tax revenue into the town. He said the planner's priorities would include recodification of the town's zoning bylaws, economic development in the Slades Ferry District, and with a large piece of town-owned land on Wilbur Avenue, economic development in the center of town, and helping existing businesses. He said the planner would apply for grants. The town has had a town planner in the past and has had a couple of other positions that were similar to town planner that it no longer has. Resident Jeff Marks, who raises money for the event, said the town's Winterfest will be held mostly indoors this year, as opposed to outdoors as it has been in the Slades Ferry Park during the last two years. The event will be held at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School from noon to 5 p.m. on December 17th. Marks said there will be two showings of the Polar Express in the Performing Arts Center at the high school, He said that in the student dining center of the school, there will be gingerbread cookie decorating, holiday ornament making, and visits with Santa Claus. He said student groups will be performing music in the gymnasium. He said the PTOs of the town will sell candy bars as a fundraiser with five golden tickets that will come from them, making the recipients eligible for prizes. He said train rides would be given outside. In sports, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School field hockey team beat West Bridgewater 9-0 on Wednesday. For the Blue Raiders, Mara Kennedy, Julie Pacheco, and Ryan Crook each scored two goals, and Tatum Swanson, Kenzie Haru, and Carissa Albin each scored a goal. SBRHS is undefeated at 14-0-1 on the season and will play undefeated case next Tuesday. On senior night, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School volleyball team swept Seekonk in three sets in their best of five match last night at at Veterans Memorial Gymnasium. For the Blue Raiders, Abigail Vieira had six kills, ten digs, and one block. 
Annabella Carpets had 10 kills and 7 digs. Kayla Caruso had 12 assists, 3 kills and 4 digs. And Anya Kanelski had 4 kills, 1 dig and 3 blocks. SBRHS now has a 12-6 overall record and will play Case on Monday. Thank you for tuning in to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. We will see you next week with news from around Somerset.